Hey everyone, yes it is that time, it is I, Mark the Movie Man, welcome to the final cut, and we are going to talk about today, the You Reviewers Movie Awards 2012. Yes, they are back once again in full force, in top form, Jeremy Jans, the Schmoes Knows, as well as the other creme de la creme of movie reviewers of the YouTube-verse have come together once again for another You Reviewers Movie Awards show. They did one last year, it was fantastic, a lot of fun, they had some surprise superstars in there announcing the uh, winners of their categories, and this year looks to even be bigger and better. You need to check it out, check out all the links of all the people commenting about You Reviewers, definitely worth your time. Now, with with that, I'm going to do like I did with the Oscars. I'm going to try to predict at least the winners of some of the categories for the You Reviewers Movie Awards. Now, I'm not in the circle. I'm not in the know. So when they do announce the uh, winners in the categories, I believe it's next month, that I will be as surprised as you. I will also be surprised how many of these I actually get right or how many I get wrong. Now, unlike other prediction shows, I have consequences for my predictions, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, sir. Now, check this out. If I get two of these predictions wrong, I will have to watch Howard the Duck and review it on my show. Should I get three to four wrong? Well, Freddy got fingered and Howard the Duck shall be reviewed and put on the show. Thank you for the suggestion, Schmoes. On to uh, five will be Red Riding Hood. If I get six wrong, it'll be Red Riding Hood and Prom, along with Freddy Got Fingered and Howard the Duck. Yes, four craptacular movies. Thank you for those two suggestions of Red Riding Hood and Prom, Gab and Dad. And if I get seven or more wrong, you are looking at me watching not only all those movies, but Bucky Larson. Born to be a star. Yes, if I get seven or more wrong, I've got to watch all of these films and review them. Now, what kind of consequence is that for a movie watcher? Yeah, it's going to be uh, intense. I'm going to be watching the contest closely. Now, here are my predictions for some of the categories that they have for the You Reviewers Movie Awards. Now, best animated film, we're looking at The Adventures of Tintin. Most underrated film, I'm going with Attack the Block. Best visual effects, none other than Rise of the Planet of the Apes, because it's harder to uh, replicate living animals than it is to re replicate robots. Sorry, Transformers. 3. On to a fantastic You Reviewers exclusive category, which is I'm Shocked It Didn't Suck Award. This was the toughest category for me to rate and pick, and I think they're going to go with Mission Impossible, but I would love to see any one of these movies make it. Fast Five, Real Steel, or Planet of the Apes 2, uh, uh, Rise of the Planet of the Apes is also one of my picks, but I think they're going to go with Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol. We'll have to see. Now, on to... Uh, Breakthrough Actress, well, that's going to be Rooney Mara from The Dragon Tattoo, of course. We're looking at Best Supporting Actor. You're looking at Andy Serkis. I'm picking as Caesar. They may not pick him, but I would pick him because he did a fantastic job. Motion capture or not, he brought life to a character that could have come off really, really, really friggin' cheesy. Now, on to Best Supporting Actress. you got Octavia Spencer in The Help. I think she put on a fantastic performance, and she will win there. On to Best Actor, the hardest working man in show business uh, this past year. That was Ryan Gosling in The Driver. I think he's going to win Best Actress. Well, Rooney Mara, of course, from The Dragon Tattoo. She's my personal favorite, and I think that the You Reviewers will see it that way as well. Best Director, well, this is going to be a tough one. I mean, you've got, you've got Scorsese, you've got Spielberg in here, but I'm going with David Fincher with The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. Because of the material he had, this was a very complex kind of plot with a lot of dialogue that he handled very well and brought together a movie that was very exciting and surprisingly almost better polished than the Swedish version. But on to Best Picture, they've got 10 listings, and they're all great films, and I don't know which one they're going to pick. So I'm just going to go with Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2. Why? Well, because out of all the films out there, not only does it close bookend this really long movie franchise, but it does it in top form. In Harry Potter, they did all kinds of fantastic performances, and they just sewed up the series very well. It was a very well-done movie, actually better than I thought it would be. And just in general, I think this was, for best picture out of the year and out of the category they have, 
this one I would say, I, I would pick personally. They probably won't. So this could be one of my wrong, but I would go with that one. Or possibly Dragon Tattoo. This year is kind of tough with the categories that they pick because they all picked good movies because they know what's good, folks. And if you know what's good for you, you will check out the YouTube uh, You Reviewers Movie Awards this year when they do announce the winners because it's going to be a lot of fun and I will definitely be watching. And that'll about do it for us here at Final Cut. Till next time, folks, keep that ticket stub.